Welcome to American School Bombay. My name is Stephanie Huss. I teach the elementary students at this campus in Korla. And I am lucky to have all of this beautiful space. There's, as you can see, there's quadrants to the room and I get to use all of it. So right now I'm literally going to pull back the curtain and show you some of the resources that I get to work with every day with students. We are lucky to have lots of percussion options, especially for our youngest students. Uh, I love to explore the different timbres as you do with younger children. If you'll take a look here, my older children enjoy having a lot of these sound effects integrated into their music ensembles. We have a lovely, lovely music library that actually kind of needs more of a home. I'm looking to display these more prominently. So hopefully I can talk to you all about how to do that. <laughs> We've also got tons of great percussion. We've got lots of hand drums. I brought some of my darbuka here from the Middle East. But we've got these drums that are great for younger learners. They can it's just circle around these drums. <laughs> and then, you know, here are all those tricks up your sleeve stuff for music teachers, like for passing games. Kind of looks like a PE closet in here too. This makes me happy. This brings me so much joy. We have a ukulele club after school and we were looking for a way to store them. We found this piece, this shelving, in storage at the school. We asked them to add wheels, and then we showed them a prototype of maybe what a, a ukulele rack looks like. And the guys here were able to build it for us. So it just makes me so happy. And then when you want to magically disguise them, voila! <laughs> uh, so I'm just loving having uh, something that's so accessible for the students, and then, okay, time to go. So our school does not have one dedicated performing art space. So what happens during a performance week, like today, um, we have a lovely crew that comes in, sets up sound, lighting, stage, curtain, everything you need to make a performance happen. So what you're seeing are some elements that we'll use today for a Broadway review. So we're excited that, that we're gonna perform for, for parents today. We'll place the stage here, the chairs out this way. We negotiate with this pillar a little bit. Um, so we have our seating on both sides of that. And then we also have somebody running the soundboard um, and somebody running the lights. So we're so lucky to have uh, AV and tech people who are on hand to do all of those jobs for us, which is important for the whole structure of the building, but it can be tricky to try to work around that. We have monthly assemblies. So right now we're trying to think outside the box about reimagining how we can gather as a whole community. This is where typically during a lesson, I have students gather here, give them a prompt on the screen, and then often, like at this season in particular, we go off and we're practicing our recorders. We're practicing what we know on the xylophones. So some, some more of that independent work is happening in our space. We do have these room dividers, and they help absorb some of that sound. Um, so that's nice that these are 
these make kind of a flexible space. And yes, it gets a little loud in this space, so I do encourage the students to go off to a place where they can practice, because it, it does, the sound does bounce around quite a bit. What is nice about that is it sort of invites, it also invites people to come into the space, listen to what we're doing. For example, if we're doing something on big drums, it sort of captures people's attention, especially as they're walking by. So they're kind of drawn into our space. And I love that. I love when visitors come, observe, take a moment out of their day to check out what the music classes are doing. My favorite part as an ORF teacher is having all of these lovely barred instruments. We've got bass, alto, soprano xylophones, We've got metallophones and we've got contrabass bars. So it's just lovely, especially after COVID, to be able to play again as a whole ensemble. We're rediscovering those skills and rediscovering how to make music again. Some of the after school classes that are offered at ASB are piano class and guitar class. So we have a lot of lovely resources for that. There's also some hidden gems. <laughs> I think we have quite a few harmoniums, which I have not even begun to explore yet. When COVID happened in 2020, every, everything in the music space just was placed onto a shelf and it sat there for about two and a half years. So when I arrived to ASB in 2022, I, it was like Christmas morning. I, everything on the shelf, I was like, wow, we have this, we have this, we had this. So it was so wonderful for me to take inventory and realize we have all of these resources. A shout out to the previous music teachers who have worked here. They have built up a beautiful resource library. Um, in all types of disciplines, Dalcro's, Orf, Kodai, choir singing for children, folk dancing, movement. Um, I actually like to call my program music and movement. Um, so this is kind of the, the building blocks right here. <laughs> so shout out to Roger Sams, Beth Ann Hepburn, they have this series called Purposeful Pathways. And it, what I was speaking of earlier is it really does blend the ORF, the Kodai, the movement, and it, it puts it all in a way where any music teacher could follow it. Um, it's also culturally responsive. Um, I like how their pieces are very thoughtful and intentional. 